The mangrove forests in northwestern Gambia are a major factor in the battle against climate change. Their roots store five times more carbon dioxide than other types of rainforest. Wild oysters grow on their roots. Harvesting them provides women with a source of income, but in the past, the mangroves were damaged in the process. After the shellfish are steamed and the shells opened, they're ready to be sold. During the four months of harvesting season, I might earn up to 50 euros a day. I'll pay the rent on my house for the rest of the year, the school fees for my kids, and I'll put some aside. A can of oysters sells for the equivalent of about 50 cents. But even though oyster farming provides women with a livelihood, it's also contributed to the degradation of the mangrove forests. And that's impacted the local ecosystem because the mangroves provide a breeding ground for fish. Katang is a town on Gambia's west coast. Fatou Jana is a fashion designer and an activist. She campaigns for mangrove forest conservation. For the last 10 years, she's also organized workshops designed to improve the lives of Gambia's female oyster harvesters. So I came in to just to see how I can help them so they can improve their lives and improve their, the, the environment also. Because the environment is important here for us because they've been chopping the mangroves and taking the oysters. So I believe that um, that has a great impact on the climate change in the Gambia. One simple alteration to the harvesting system makes a huge difference. If the women collect the oysters at low tide, they don't need to chop off the roots. We know that if we continue cutting the roots of the mangroves, there'll come a time when there are no more oysters to harvest. Anyone who hacks the roots of the mangroves is penalized. The oyster farmers are organized and have regulations to follow. The women are also starting to rely less on wild oysters. This is an improvised oyster farm. It's a project that sees oysters grown on racks rather than mangrove roots. It takes a year for them to mature. These oyster aquacultures have improved working conditions for women from 15 villages in the area. If farming changed our way of harvesting, it stops us from paddling far away, and it also gives chance to the fish that lay eggs. It reduces also our, our, our this thing, tiredness. They take a long trip by the day, trying to get the, 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 the oysters. So, and some of them have drowned here before. Some of them have, 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 have a pregnant woman. We lost a pregnant woman one time. Accidents are now a thing of the past. The women have even begun planting new mangroves. Everything you see, I planted myself. Now they've all grown big. Thanks to Fato, we now know how to conserve and protect mangroves. Fatu Jana's organization has trained around a thousand women in sustainable oyster harvesting techniques. Their standard of living has improved, and the delicate mangrove ecosystem is thriving. <laughs>